anything. There, that's life. <laughs> Even in that water, I do find my treasures, the plastic. National Park. My predictions after 42 years I've come here has confirmed the reality of what I'm talking about. People come here, they're unable to see, they love the mountains, they love the nature, they love the <laughs> hustle and bustle. They're all gone back, leaving behind the litter. There's hardly any tourists here. It's a perfect time for me to come and make my real connection to this earth and reflect and cry in what I'm seeing. Cry for what I'm feeling. Cry and feel sad about what I've, what we have done to our beautiful Mother Earth who gives us life, an incredible way of living, will fully enhance our lives only because of our union, of our connection to the nature and to the incredible, mighty, and more sophisticated and intelligent natural habitat than our intellect and our thought processes that we have created. A lousy surrounding. We carry heavy loads with us because we're not carrying them. We bring all things so unnecessary. Look at me. No gloves, just a shirt, cooler climate, yes, the winter is around the corner. But how long is this cycle going to continue before it'll end and end all life on earth? Or will it? Everything cyclical must come to an end. One point one time and reignite. Will I be here or will we be here? Everybody who thought they'd be here by accumulation of knowledge and thought and wealth and destructing this incredible peaceful nature of life around us but they are no longer here not even their skeletal is here it is back as topsoil what is so important is that we must come and be gentle on this earth gentle with our water that sustains life where is it? We have cut and cut and make it fall. Look at this. Skeletons of trees. Cypress, spruce, redwood, sequoia. They're all <laughs> skeletons. I'm walking on sand, folks. This is an incredible, or oh, incredibly fertile land that provided so much energy and life. Yet what has happened to it? What have we done? 
to this incredible landscape. We scarred it. We suck everything out. We fix ourselves to a comfort by destructing every possible life out here, sacrificing every other life has sacrificed for yours and my convenience. How long can it carry on? How long can it be allowed to carry on like this? Come with me and walk this earth and see it in a very different way than you would see for yourself. You might not like what I'm saying. If you like or if you dislike, the Mother Nature has a way of teaching us a lesson. Its forces are far more greater than all of our foul behaviors. Our Mother Nature will take us all in a very painful way. There's a hurricane brewing down in the Caribbean. It is sad to a fact that life is lost, yet it's a phenomenal natural happening. It's a natural occurrence that we are too many, I suppose, on this planet, and we are in its way. It's not a natural disaster. It's a natural disaster only because we went and put ourselves in the middle of it. We try to create spaces where Mother Nature has a way of existing. We're creating spaces for ourselves by removing the Mother Nature's phenomenal geometry. By doing so, we create phenomena that the Mother Nature is trying to recover. It's loss, limbs, loss. Skin, scarred skin, burnt out skin, broken skin. It's exhumed life. It's uh, tortured life. It's trying to recover through those phenomenal natural, we call it disasters. They're no longer disasters. They're nature's way of recovering. It's help healing itself for what we are doing every day. So please don't say it's a natural disaster where several hundreds or several thousands have died from it, see how much is dead all around us. We all die, but we must live, live profoundly and be conscious of our actions, conscious of our destructive forces that has made our earth and our lives look like this. Scarred, battered, brutally abused. Why? Everywhere I look, scars on the earth's surface. Just to create a comfort and convenience by sacrificing every life around us. It's time we all wake up to this realization and become 
more in tune with the earth's phenomena, the earth's, we build things and we abandon like that shed with metal sheets, concrete, granite, we extract them, we stack them up and we discard them, dispose of them. <laughs> it is not fair for what we are doing for a temporary purpose, for temporary inconvenience or temporary convenience. What we are doing to this earth is beyond words can describe.